Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling a question that many new Selenium WebDriver users encounter. Our viewer is experiencing an issue when running their unit test script on two different Windows 10 machines. While the code runs smoothly on one machine, the second machine throws an error stating, tried to run command without establishing a connection. Let's dive into understanding this problem and explore how to resolve it. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we're gonna to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully getting you to that solution. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy, just like me, and get through to that resolution. Now, let's get started. The error message, tried to run command without establishing a connection, typically indicates that the Selenium web driver is unable to communicate with the browser. This can happen for several reasons. First, ensure that the web driver is correctly installed and that the path to the web driver executable is set properly in your script. For example, if you're using Chrome, make sure you have the correct version of Chrome driver. Next, verify that the browser version matches the web driver version. If there's a mismatch, Update either the browser or the web driver to ensure compatibility. Lastly, ensure that your script is properly initializing the web driver before running any commands. This means calling the driver setup code before executing any tests. If you follow these steps and still encounter issues, Consider checking your firewall settings or any security software that might be blocking the connection. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. For using Selenium WebDriver, it's recommended to run it on Linux with Google Chrome and Chrome Driver for optimal performance, especially when measuring loading times. PhantomJS is not recommended as it may be inaccurate and is no longer being developed. Here's a sample script that sets up a headless Chrome browser, navigates to a website, and measures the time to first byte. The script includes error handling and prints the results, including the time to first byte. Feel free to ask questions if anything is unclear. Comparing code can lead to new insights. And that's it guys. I hope we found the solution you're looking for. And look, if we did, please hit the subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. And until the next time you need technical help, I hope you have a good one.